I actually have always wanted to maybe work for NASA or do something with NASA. It was always kind of a dream, so this internship, I hope, is kind of like a foot in the door. Part of the reason I applied to the program is because of the interdisciplinary focus. The idea of camaraderie, being able to interact with all these other students just like myself. The Student Airborne Research Program was a great experience and it's definitely been a great summer. The Student Airborne Research Program, or SARP for short, is this, this really fantastic opportunity for students. The goal of the Student Airborne Research Program is to inspire and engage students in NASA's Earth Science Research Missions. It's a unique summer internship program for advanced undergraduate students who are majoring in any of the science, technology, engineering, or math disciplines. The diversity of the backgrounds of the students really enables them to learn from each other. This is one of the, the really great strengths of the program. Students in SARP get to fly on board a major NASA resource. This summer it was the NASA P-3B. The P-3 is one of NASA's airborne laboratories used for Earth science missions all over the world. This is a very hands-on program. Students get to operate the instruments on board the aircraft, analyze the data they collected, and present their results at the conclusion of the program. It's a complete end-to-end -end research experience. One of the, the great things about the Student Airborne Research Program is that we're able to couple the airborne sampling with ground sampling. Um, and each of the research groups has a different focus. So it's, it's a really good experience to be able to see how all of this data collection uh, really comes together and how scientific collaboration on, on research flights works. There, there's four research groups, so I'm in charge of oceans, but there's also land, atmosphere, and then a climate change group. When I first applied for it, I was thinking that I would definitely do something in the air quality field, since that's what I'm used to and I know. But once I learned about all the other, the other three groups, um, I really said, hey, oceans, that's something, I've never been to the ocean, I've never seen it, that sounds so exciting, and I just decided to go for something that I've never learned about before, and it was a great opportunity. At my university, we don't have research experience until we're seniors, so I hadn't had any coming into this. And actually flying on the P3 was probably one of the most amazing parts, being able to be in the field and gather the data myself. Before coming to SARP, I didn't really have a, like a focus in my major. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. But now I really know that I might think about applying myself in atmospheric chemistry instead of just focusing on meteorology. Academically, I think I've gained a lot of skills that I can use for research in the future, um, and I'm interested in eventually going on to graduate school, so it's really helpful for me to be able to start a project at the beginning. Seeing the project through from start to finish, and also seeing how it took shape based around my interests and my ideas, so it wasn't like we were all given set projects and forced to work on them. It was that we got to incorporate our interest into it while also having, you know, someone guiding us. I'd done aerosol science and atmospheric chemistry, but it was all lab-based. So I knew that a field-based approach to atmospheric chemistry was something I'd never experienced before. So I thought, oh, this is an awesome way to do environmental science and um, at the same time do it in a way I'd never really done it before, using remote sensing and images. You had to exercise a lot of ingenuity yourself, and you had to submerge yourself in the field um, much earlier on than my other internships would have required. I actually didn't know what to expect. I knew that we were going to be flying on a really cool aircraft, and the flying to me was awesome. We got to go up to the flight deck and hop on the headset and listen to the pilot speak with the air traffic control. and to hear them direct a NASA plane and know that you're that plane was a lot of fun. This program is a great opportunity to get young scientists, young promising students excited about research and get, give them their first exposure to research. I mean, I've done a lot of airborne research, but it's, it's, it is a special opportunity. It's something unique that very few students get to experience. And you know, one thing that I think is, is super valuable is these students are working on projects that fit in directly to the NASA mission. And so using some data from SARP students from last year and data from this year, we've actually started putting some of their results into our own NASA proposals. And so it, it's really pushing the, the envelope of what NASA is looking for in terms of research. I definitely think that the Student Airborne Research Program gives 
a real research experience. They're able to learn about the flight planning, about how we use meteorology, um, about the coordination and collaboration between different research groups. The Student Airborne Research Program does a really good job of fostering that community. So even within the separate research groups, there's a lot of collaboration and, and just friendship in general. It's such a unique experience that I really don't think you can get anywhere else to be able to participate in these large campaigns to actually be able to be airborne and collect your data and then to analyze it yourself in the lab afterwards, to have your own project, to have all these people around you, living with you, working with you, getting to help you. Um, I've created friends here that I will still keep in touch with and perhaps see on larger campaigns in the future.